Hello everybody and welcome to our playthrough of Metroid, Metroid Zero, Zero Mission. <laughs> Metroid Zero Mission. And today I'm joined with a special guest. I'll let him introduce himself. Alright, my name is Cody. Y'all can call me Cody. Um, I actually have two YouTube channels. Uh, one's basically for like Pokemon and all that good stuff. And one's for pretty much like everything else. So I'll yep. let people just play let's just play through, why not? <laughs> but um but yeah, so uh I've been on YouTube about maybe, what, two years now or so, something like that, and I just recently met Adolfo because he started working at Walmart with me because Walmart is a wonderful, amazing place, isn't that right, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be the one playing Metroid Zero Mission. This is one of them, this is probably easily lands in one of my top three favorite games of all time. Uh, I used to speed run this game a lot, um, so, you know, I know this game fairly well, so... Anyway, um, let's let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. All right. So, so first thing, the first thing we gotta know is uh, this little this little symbol right here on the right side of it. Yeah. This uh, this is what happens whenever you play on like a uh, uh, completed file already. All right. And so it's basically like a new game plus. Yeah. It, yeah. Basically, like a new link game plus. Uh, I'm we're just doing it on normal difficulty. Like really, only difference between normal and hard is like just shit hits harder. Like it just stuff does more damage. Anyway. All right. Go ahead, read it. All right, Planet Zebes. I call this who can I'm gonna smack. You read it. I'm gonna smack. You read it. Then. Planet Zebes. I called this place home <laughs> once in beautiful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called zero mission. Name drop. Samus <laughs> Title drop. Yep. Ba, 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 so that's what it is. Ba, ba. I always call it a Zebes. Zebes. Yeah. It's All right. Planet Zebes. All right, so. First thing you do, like what, three seconds into the freaking game, we already have our first power up, the most important power up in the game, which is the morph ball. Of course, man. So the morph ball, uh, it, it, <laughs> I, I don't know how many of you like are completely new to to Metroid, but but go ahead. And but just yeah, the morph anyway. ball. Okay, so Metroid it was it first came out in what was it, eighty six? I think it was, was it the I first Metroid no game idea. came out. Hold up. Oh, what are we doing? No, 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 you can go, you can go and keep playing. Alright, I, I think it came out, uh, the first Metro game came out in 86. I happen to have the handy dandy booklet right oh, here. Oh, beautiful. Um, it, it was a very revolutionary game because it started off like this. Like, every other pretty much big title before it was just like, you know, side scroller, go from the left to the right. Yep. And, but Metroid was revolutionary and started this new trend of the open world theme and basically all your hell you can even go like as far as like saying like games like you know Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that stem from this style of gameplay because and that's why I love the Metroid series so much is like it was such a revolutionary um series that just started so many big things yeah. so um, uh, I can't find the trademark date <laughs> I'm gonna google it I, I'm pretty sure it was like 86 or something like that it's somewhere around that around there but uh M might have been earlier. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So um, as you'll notice, we have this uh, the this short little beam. This is what people call the pea shooter. All right. So here's the thing. You can go throw it through there, but you can. You're, it's where you're supposed to go, but you're not supposed to um, be able to go through there. But we can just skip that if we want to, which I'm not, because I hate the pea shooter. Um, by just doing that. So. Um, yeah, also by the way, this is going to be a 100% run, but it's not going to be a speed run by any means. Um, oh, no. It's just going to be... Let's take our time. Take take the time, make sure I don't die, do anything stupid, or and stuff. I'm, I'm only hoping on one death, and that won't be anytime soon. So. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> phone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we got the long beam. The pea shooter is a thing of the past, and our beam will go all the way across the across the screen so this is uh, really cool so all right now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to shoot all these blocks all right but i'm going to show you a speed running trick go for it so you it's what you got to do 
is you shoot and then you immediately go into a morph ball mode in and scoot forward. So this last one's a little trickier because it's obviously the farthest. So there you go. Nice. So that's just a ne ne neat little speedrunning trick if anybody's interested in there. Um, there's not really much important up there. So, you know, you're not really missing a whole hell of a lot. So anyway. Oh, yeah, and you were, did you say 86? Yeah. You were right. Damn, I'm good. August 6, 1986. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, right yeah. next to it, they got the other M. Oh. Hey, okay, we, we'll get into this later because all I, I gotta say is, ah. I, I am actually an other M fan. Yo, I bought the game for six dollars at GameStop. Oh, yesterday. you actually got it? Yeah, it's, it's in there. Good, in my finally. Mind. Yeah, but see, we'll get into other M later, but because like I'm actually kind of a fan of other M, while well, he is not. I so just, I just hate the way they made Samus. Yeah, they made Samus kind of like a little bitch. She, but, you know, she was whatever. portrayed very horribly. Oops. There we go. Alright, so that guy just shoot three missiles into his eye. Oh yeah, by the way, hey, check that out. We got missiles. Um, yep. And you get the charge beam. You have four chances, I think, to shoot him in the eye. If you miss it, don't worry. There's other spots that you can meet that little mini boss. He's incredibly easy. So, yeah, there you go. I see that. Alright, so now, now that we have the charge beam, we could charge up and we could do what's... I kind of like the the pseudo screw attack. Uh -huh. um, it's ba basically anything that was that would die to a charge beam would uh, would just get killed by this. So now we are introduced to the most pointless freaking enemies in the goddamn game. I hate these things. They <laughs> they don't do anything. They don't drop anything. They, just they fly. infinitely spawn and they just get in your way. <laughs> they just they, fly. They are the most annoying and pointless enemies in the game. All right. So but now. Oh yeah, you gotta go this way. You gotta take out all three of these hives. There's three hives in this room, and then you will never see these stupid things ever again. Oh, that's great. So, they're already a... getting annoying. <laughs> I'm serious, man. They're the most pointless enemies in the goddamn game. Alright, so you stand over here, and you just crouch down. Um, if you get too close to those guys, they will they will come after you. They'll swarm? They will swarm after you, and uh, but you can just stand over here and shoot the crap out of this stuff with your long beam. And there you go. We never have to deal with those stupid little bat things ever again. All right. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is this is the next room that you could fight that worm thing if you somehow missed it, you know. Um, so instead of these uh, shriek bats, is what they're called up there. That they could you can you you have the worm come down and try to kill you again. So again, same thing. Three shots, it's dead. Ah, excuse me. I just ate McDonald's. So <laughs> get the burps. So. Oh, ah, you fell uh, in the... no! Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, acid hurt to you right now. You don't have to worry about lava because we don't have lava. All right, in here, uh, these are called map rooms. Usually, I... Because, I mean, I pretty much have the, the map yeah, we memorized. Just, just to show where they are, though. Yeah, but it, but uh, these uh, these map rooms, they'll open up uh, most of the areas. Uh, the, okay, let me actually go to the map so I can show you something. All it. right, so the, the see the green area right there? That's a, that's a secret area. Uh -huh. um, the blue is like what's in the normal map. The map right. room d just pretty much opened up this entire area and showed you everything. Right. Um, people kind of don't care for this game that much because they think it's too easy, uh, which I can definitely see because it it uh, the the Chozo statues. Uh -huh. There, they um, they show you where to go. However, they don't really show you exactly where to go. They, they, um, I'm pretty much um, pretty much gonna be skipping through most of the Chozo statues because I, I I know where everything is. Right. So you know, it's not really that big of a deal to me. Um, uh, but also, if if you need to be like fully charged, healed up, you can just hop into one of these guys. They'll full, they'll fully heal you. They'll give your missile, fully heal your missiles, your super missiles, all that good stuff. Nice. That we'll get later. So I can definitely see where people come from as this being an easy game. It is, it but is. everybody's baby is Super Metroid. <laughs> yeah, and don't get me wrong, I love Super Metroid. And in my opinion, Super Metroid is the best game in the series. Oh yeah. But this is my favorite. And really? Yeah, the, the, Zero Mission is my favorite, but Super Metroid I, I cannot contest as it's the best. So 
Uh, please do not get mad at me for that. I do understand that Super Metroid is amazing. It is. It is, it is a great game. It is beautiful. Which, by the way, guys, if you guys like this, we can play more Metroid games. We definitely will. <laughs> um, I need to bone up on my Super, Met Net Super Metroid playthrough, though. Because um, I'm a little rusty on Super Metroid. <laughs> I, I, I know this game so much because, I, like I said, I used to speedrun it a lot. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Now, uh, right down here, if we want to, we can bomb that and you can go down to another Chozo statue, but I don't need to. It just shows you where the next power up will be. Right. Um, but, I, uh, like I said, I don't need to. So. However, in this next room, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. Uh, you don't have to do this now, but if you want to, you can just, uh, bomb it, fall through there, ow, oh, damn it, I missed it. <laughs> um, you fall through there, and, uh, you get a power-up later on that makes this a little bit easier, but you bomb that little bomb block, you jump back up, and, oops, got it. Uh. Alright, so yeah, and then you can just tuck right in there and grab that, uh, missile, missile pack if you want to, so. Nice. And then to get out, you just, oop, I missed it. Alright, so wait for the little blocks to respawn. And, come on, there we go. Got it. Alright. All right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I don't know what There's so much information right now. I, I, I'm sorry, man. Like, I <laughs> like I said, I love this game. I love that this is the most beautiful game, and I, this is my favorite game. I love this ever. game too. But Gonna have to keep you around. Just hold something you love for ransom, just so you work for my channel for no pay. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess so, man. <laughs> but, all right. So I we, own you now. Oh no! You sold your soul to me. Yay! <laughs> Welcome <right>. aboard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now we got the bombs. Now we can go this way. Um, and we're just gonna jump over here. Now we're gonna finally get out of Brinstar. And we're gonna move on to the next area. What are we doing? How are we doing there? We're doing. Oh, we got plenty of time. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. We got plenty of time. All right. So, Maybe later you get to meet the so other we... guys who work for me. Oh boy. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Now we're gonna go down to North and we're introduced to this eyeball with a brain. I wonder and, who yeah. it is. Okay, so the, so <laughs> I, I like to show off that. Okay, we're, we're playing this on on an emulator on the Wii. We mm. do, of course, own the game. Yeah. So we gotta make sure we say that. But it's just mm. it's easier for recording. Yeah. Um, stuff by uh, doing this on the Wii. Um, normally in the normal game, in the, in the eye there, you have like kind of a silhouette of uh, Samus. So. For some reason, though, whenever you emul emulate this game, it, that doesn't show up. I don't know why, uh, but <laughs> it, it's just it's just something I like to point out. Um, yeah. So yeah, but l like again, we do own this game. I yeah. I do uh, uh, well. I used to own this game, but I know Adolfo owns this game, so we're oh, yeah. good. Though. We're good on that part. But oh, uh, yeah. as I, for emulation, it is the easiest way to record. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I own all of them except Fusion, I think. Oh yeah. See, see, I used to have an entire Metroid collection. I had every single Metroid game up through Prime t Prime 2 at that point when I was a kid, but then I moved. You didn't get Echoes? I didn't get Echoes. Echoes is the shit. But no, but no y you'll understand this, okay? But then when I moved um, to, to South Carolina when I turned 18, my, uh, my mom decided, hey, I'm just going to sell all this crap. So, you know, that wasn't cool. <laughs> and uh, now I'm getting beaten up by fish. So yeah, there you go. Oh, and so now all, my entire Metroid collection is gone, and I'm very sad about that. So I would be too. What the hell? Yeah, man. <laughs> my like my old Pokemon games, all that good stuff is just gone. <laughs> oh, it's, it's very depressing. <laughs> so yeah, Kirby. I had a ton of Kirby games. So yeah, it's just I, I love I love this series though. Nonetheless, I'm I'm rebuilding my collection. Um, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal, whatever. What's the, have you at least played Metroid Prime 2? Of course, yeah. I've, pl right. I've played every single Metroid game. I have not beaten every Metroid game. Uh. I have not 100%ed every Metroid game, but I have played every single one of them. Right. And, uh, and I can honestly say there is no bad Metroid game. Even, uh, even Zero Mid even, uh, Other M. There, there is no bad Metroid game. I don't uh. care what anybody says. <laughs> I don't say, I don't think it's a bad game. It's just, uh... It's are are we really getting into Other M now? It's too different! Are, are, are we getting into the, the Other M discussion now, okay, really? Okay. I thought we were gonna at least save one part. Fine. We'll get into the Other M discussion later. <laughs> and my boiling hatred for it. I, 
Okay, fuck it, fuck it. We're getting into that. We're getting into it now. Okay, why do you hate Other M? Because it's not Metroid. Okay. See, I, I, you I'm, say usually, that. I'm usually fine with spinoffs, but when you turn the character into somebody else, you know, is a no. Okay. Yes, it is. It is different. It is very different. Now, as in as a Metroid game, it is terrible. That's why it's I hate terrible. It. I yes, I under I completely understand that. I completely agree with you on that part. Mm -hmm. However, it is not a bad game, and it does show show an important part of uh, of the Metroid lore. It's like the it shows like the backstory from like fusion and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah. So. All right, so what we just got there is the pa oh crap! I just missed that completely. So what we just got there is this power grip. Um, it's not a necessary item, but it does make things easier. Things a lot easier because you know you can gr now grab ledges. Okay. You say you say as a Metro game it's terrible, but as a game it's all right. As a game it's great. No, seriously, as Metroid Other M is a great game. <laughs> All right, let me. Whoa! I actually got it right on. You saw that. You yeah, saw that. Yeah, I saw that. that. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I did. There was a game. You know, Devil May Cry. Yes. That got rebooted. Yes. yes. And, and, you know, I, I hear from a lot of people though that they love they love the new DMC. People hated it. Really? Hated it. Like you know why? I mean, it's, because all I heard was just like the character design. They didn't like the new character design. No, it's not just the character design. It's everything. Really? Yeah. It's See, like I, I, I don't really do no Devil May Cry that much. It's so like really this Dante thing is so fucking different. Like, like this one's just like a kind of like gauges having like hipster dude, and then the other one was funny and like he he used to crack wise and everything. This Dante is just a fucking asshole. Well, isn't it like a prequel? No, no, it's, it's a complete, not a prequel. It's a complete revamp. Oh, oh, so like what Sonic 06 was supposed to be? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and like, just... Oh god, don't mention Sonic 06 in my presence. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's not that bad. Oh, it, okay? oh, it it's, is. Yes, it, it's terrible. It's an abomination. Oh no, it is game, that bad. But, it is, but it's one of those things, it's so funny, it's bad. The fucking right? gravity doesn't work in that game. Hell no. <laughs> Alright, so back to DMC. Okay, let me just give you just one scene, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, this is what old Dante did. He would like, mess around with the... With the villains, like play them, like you're like, oh yeah, I'm I'm really strong and you're fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then like he just like crack wise and shit. Old Dante, here's what he did. Some guy, he was trying to get into some techno club, like mm -hmm. that's full of demons. And the guy stops him, and he goes like, hey buddy, you're not on the list. And he fucking decks the guy, grabs the clipboard, <laughs> writes fuck you on it, and then says I am now, <laughs> and throws it on him. <laughs> Oh man, that that is not witty. That's just being an asshole. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, like again, like I said, I, I don't know DMC. I'm not really. I haven't really played any of them, so you know, I can't really be and in on this argument. Yeah, and people argue, oh, but the game itself is fun. Sh sure, it's it's bad. It's a Devil May Cry game, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> So, and don't get me wrong, like, yeah, I would definitely, I would probably say Other M is the worst yeah. Metroid game. So, if DMC doesn't get a pass from me, I can't give Other M a pass. But do you love the Metroid series? Oh, damn I it. completely, damn it. I completely love the damn Metroid it. series. <laughs> I can't. My burning passion burns as hot as this room. <laughs> yes, it is quite warm in here. So. Yay! Ice yeah. Beam! We All right. missed everything that, was, that, that is going on in the game just to talk yeah. about stuff. Yeah, so now it's time to cut the part. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> Ice Beam, next part, we'll be doing some uh, sequence breaking fun stuff. It's super hype. Woo! Keep watching, guys.